Hello guys, here I'm going to show you how to get to this point to change the fuel pump. First, we start by removing the cap and then you'll see three little screws right there. I believe they were 7mm. Yep. So, you get those loose. Then I always like to... Uh, spray PB blast on all the fasteners so they'll come looser faster or you know help me a little because it's pretty pretty beat up by the way this is a 1990 GMC K1500 OBS baby OBS alrighty 15 millimeter all these straps they use a 15 millimeter nut and a bolt straightforward but let's be honest this job would be better with a little assistance especially once you get it all loosen up and everything here um removing one of the straps that wraps around it's the front the, the forward strap and then this is the rear strap it just has the bolt that goes straight into the frame but yeah man uh, 15 millimeter and then I'm not gonna lie, it is it is it is a struggle when it's just one person, but if you have a floor jack like I do and a couple of jack stands, it could be done. Uh oh yeah, eye protection. Especially if you go through a lot of dirt roads, man. Uh I ended up with sand all up in my eyes, so I resulted to go get a whatever eye protection I had around. <laughs> But yeah, just having an extra set of hands would have helped out a little. But where there's a will, there's a way, guys. So then I ended up having to remove these four nuts on the forward strap. And then here you see me adjusting the jack stand. Oh yeah, and make sure... Um, that your tank is as empty as possible it'll make this job a lot easier it doesn't have to be empty I mean a quart of fuel is okay or you know less if you don't want it to be that heavy but yeah here here's where all the struggle came in because after you get the straps loose you gotta gain access to the the connector the fuel connector for the fuel pump and your uh, gauge and then you have to gain access to the lines and uh, these lines happen to be uh, threaded on with a regular you know I'll show it to you here in a few but yeah no it was, it was a bit of a struggle here you see me Trying to move the tank a little bit so I can get it off the two holes that were, I mean the four holes where that strap went around. And then once you do that, make sure you have that jack or jack stance. And then you, there you can see, even with that protection, I still got shit in my eyes. There you go, see? And it always helps to have, you know, jack stance, man. An extra pair of hands would have helped a lot better. But I had to get this done, man.
Yeah, I'm just readjusting the jack stand on that point right there and lowering it a little so I could lower the jack a bit more and try to gain some access to the to the lines and the connector. Yep. See, I was trying to gauge how much room I had there. And I think I had enough there. See, there's a connector. It sits right here on the top of the frame. You could unplug the connector, but then you're going to need like a 12 millimeter or 13 millimeter to unloosen the ground because there you go. They have a ground bolt that holds the the ground from the fuel pump and it holds the second half of the connector onto the frame. See, there you go. There's the eyelet for the connector to the frame. And there you go. It's three simple lines right there and yep let's talk about room non-existing <laughs> but one more time guys if there's a will there's a way oh there you go my secret pb blaster is always uh the best so once you let them soak in for a little bit There's the first one. I believe I ended up using like a 19 on the big side and a 16 on the small side. And then the middle one, you just need some pliers to uh, remove the retaining clip. Once you get that loose, it just drops, guys. And then here. You see me grabbing two chairs and trying to empty it out so I could uh, swap my fuel pump. But I wasn't sucking it. I did have it under quart. Here I'm plugging the hole so I could wash it off. Oh yeah, I forgot. You have to undo the fill, the fill neck. And the breather. And then here you just hammer the little retaining ring all the way around until it pops off. And then once it pops off, it's a straight swap, guys. I mean, there's many ways of doing your fuel pump. I, I've heard some guys lift the bed. I've helped my brother do it one time with lifting the bed, but it seemed to take longer <laughs> to me. And I'm just used to dropping the tanks. So there you go. I have that siphoning hose. I got it at Harbor Freight. Cheap. I'm always on a budget, guys. This one supposedly says it was quality parts. We'll find out. But, I mean, the kit seemed to be pretty good. It came with extra O-rings for the lines. And it came with a new ring, the two rings for the lines, and a new ring, an O-ring for where the fuel pump sits, and to lock it back into place. And that's the new fuel pump. It seemed pretty decent. Well, the test of time is gonna tell how good the. Hope this helps, guys. Uh, reverse. To go back in, a little bit of pain. Have a good one.